Hi guys, Juliet is here with Cosmic Gamers. We're here at PAX East, day two. And we are here with Compulsion Games, learning about We Happy Few. So, can you share us a little bit about the game? Sure. Uh, well, We Happy Few is our second title as a company, so that's kind of exciting alone. Uh, but it's uh, a 1960s kind of retro-futuristic, drug-infused survival game. So, it's it's kind of weird. It's a little uncomfortable, but uh, it's kind of uncomfortable for all the right reasons. So. Yeah, I saw the trailer and I was like, this is it's interesting, we have to check it out. I was, I was confused and weirded out, just like you said. Perfect. <laughs> what, was the, um, what was the inspiration behind it? Uh, well, each member on the team tries, like, we all pull our own in, in, like inspirations across different mediums and stuff like that, because that's one of the fun things is we have a pretty, uh, pretty flat kind of uh, development structure where uh, if an artist has a great idea, they'll, they can take it straight to design or vice versa or code or around that place. So I know one of the things that we can all agree on is that there's a show called The Prisoner and uh, one of our programmers brought it up to us when we started working on the idea. He's like, you all got to see The Prisoner. And then we checked it out and if you don't know what it is, look at it and it's a pretty good idea of what we're, what kind of vibe we're going for, which is this, it's quirky, weird, and it's just like projection of what the future could have been but from like a, a 60s standpoint. So, okay. yeah. Awesome. Now, what about the game? When can we expect to get our hands on it? Well, depending how good you are at playing it, uh, what we're doing right now is we have two scenarios built into the build that we're showing you at PAX, and uh, if you complete either one of them, then we actually give you pre-alpha access to the game. Awesome. Uh, it's uh, one of the things we're trying to do with We Happy Few is to correct a lot of things that we felt we did wrong with, with Contrast, where yes, yeah. we kept that really close to our chest and we didn't get the community involved early enough. Uh, so, as uncomfortable as it may be for some of us, we're showing our game super, super early. Okay. Uh, warts and all, which is, it, it's proven to be actually really inspiring to, to have people enjoy it at this stage. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's kind of where we are right now, like a pre-alpha state, and uh, we're a ways off. I'm not entirely sure what what the higher-up plan is on when we're coming yes. out, okay. but uh, it's definitely, we're not coming out until we're confident that we're, we're giving the people that are actually playing it something they want. So. Okay, and um, when it does come out, what, what kind of platforms are we looking for? Uh, currently, we can only say that we're on Steam, mobile, okay. PC, and stuff like that. Uh, that's simply just because there's a lot of, you know, conversations that have to happen with yeah. people with suits that cost more than my rent. So, that, I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, all that has to get sorted out, but because of our relationship with uh, the difficult, like, the, uh, the console holders and stuff like that from contrast, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it's something that's going to be down the road, but, uh, I mean, sure. unfortunately we can't say anything because the of conversations course. haven't started yet. So. I understand. Well, well, we'll keep watching Twitter. We'll keep watching your, your, your awesome. website and see what's going on. Cool. Sorry, thank you so much for taking your time thank to you. talk to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, that was all right.